Lesson 14. Day 14. Your people. The Torah states, do not go as a gossip monger among your people. Our sages derive that it is forbidden to speak Lashon Ara about a Jew only when he is one who acts in the way of your people. It is not shameful to focus on the shortcomings of a wicked person. The term wicked person refers to a malicious offender. However, one who sins out of ignorance or temptation is in the category of Amecha, and it is forbidden to speak Lashon Ara about him unless it is for a constructive purpose, as will be discussed later. Silencing the Accuser Hashem acts towards the Jewish people in the way that we act towards one another. Thus, if Jews live in peace and harmony with one another, then in Shemayim, Satan is not able to indict them. Hashem has implanted in Satan's nature an inability to indict his beloved nation in any way under such conditions. Midrash Shir Hashirim states that this applies even when the Jewish people are guilty of the worst sins, such as idol worship. Thus it is written, bound to one another in peace, but attached to idol worship in Ephraim. Let him be, Hosea. Measure for measure, midan is the rule in Shemayim. In all instances, when a person restrains himself, both from speaking derogatorily of his fellow and arousing bad feelings towards them, then in Shemayim the accuser is unable to open his mouth to accuse. The converse is true when Lashon Ara is spoken, and this evokes divine wrath toward the speaker. As our sages comment on the words, and in the hand was a coal. Hashem told the angel, Break the mouth of the one who spoke ill of my children.